you also get married about the same point. Aha. Uh-huh. Yeah. So this, this is very much on at the beginning. So if you think about my stage, so in the 20s, I'm learning all my kids. Yes. In the 30s, is my spiritual gifts. Yes. And now I've all my spiritual gifts. I'm very confident about my uh, Christian philosophy. Right. So now in the fo- at the beginning of the 40s, this is now you are yeah early. This is this is the year 2000. Yeah, it's yeah. 2000. Yeah, 99, 2000. Yeah, so you're in your late 30s, late almost 30s about 40. Moving into the 40s. Mm-hmm. And so I'm moving to this age of legacy. Mm-hmm. Now, I didn't know it then, mm. but I'm now I'm now beyond the navigators. Mm. I cannot be contained basically by one organization. Mm. I've been to think about legacy. I've been mm. to think about uh, being able to engage in different uh, structures and so forth. So it's in that context that I meet uh, Suri. Mm-hmm. Then, of course, I was I married late. Mm-hmm. I had been, you know, mm-hmm. having relationships. Not really. I didn't have like a uh, relationship per se. Mm-hmm. But of course, I had many girlfriends. Mm-hmm. You call them that. Mm-hmm. Uh, so then I meet Joseph Josephine at about that mm-hmm. same time mm-hmm. because we get married in two thousand and one, mm-hmm. August. Mm-hmm. Uh, so all these things are happening. You know, um, I get married, mm. then we uh, admit with Sudi and Eric, mm-hmm. but then I realize my inadequacy to engage in an HIV. You know, I know that I have some basic things about HIV, mm-hmm. but I, I knew it needed to take a training mm. and I did not have that competence and capacity. Mm-hmm. Then, out of the blue, there's a guy called Brent, mm-hmm. come from Zimbabwe. Mm. And he's coming to start a church mm. in uh, in Kenya. Mm-hmm. And he, Brent, what is his name? Brent Hansel. Brent Hansel. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So then he calls, uh, asking the question, if I was to start a church, and if somebody who is a bit crazy, who thinks out of the box, mm. you know, who would that be? Mm. And whenever he's asked, he's directly told, you know, that sounds like Mike. Mm-hmm. That sounds like Mike. Mm-hmm. So eventually he calls the navigator and he says, whenever I call asking for some crazy guy who think out of the box, I'm being referred to you. Mm-hmm. Um, so would you help me? Mm-hmm. And asked him what you want. Mm-hmm. He says, I want to start a church mm-hmm. at the university, mm-hmm. but I don't know how to go about it. Mm-hmm. Then I ask him, so and what do I get in return? Mm-hmm. So he's thinking and asking, what's your background? He mm-hmm. says that when I was in South, in, uh, in South uh, Zimbabwe, mm-hmm. and I was training on HIV, mm-hmm. I tell him, "Aha, mm-hmm. let me do an exchange. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. You tra- you help me train on HIV. Mm-hmm. I'll help you learn how to put to, how to set a church. Great. Yeah, a good quid quid pro quo. I'm telling you. Yeah. And I think that relationship is just amazing. Yeah. Later, I realized this was meant from God. Yeah. Because Brent is a complete opposite of the way. Yeah. We just blended perfectly. Yeah. And we enjoyed our conversation. He is a phenomenal trainer. Oh, yeah. I, I, I remember benefiting a lot yeah. from Brent's training. Yes. Yeah, he's yeah. an amazing trainer, very yeah. charismatic. Yeah. He knows how to put together teams. Yeah. And so, yeah. yeah. I mean, he just does an amazing job. Mm. Of course, for me, it's more the long-term vision, mm-hmm. putting the trust strategies and so forth, the strategy. Mm-hmm. So then, so then we start training these peer educators from our pocket. You mm-hmm. know, for me, I started working with the navigators. Mm-hmm. Brand was still, of course, working with the uh, Assemblies of God. Mm-hmm. And so, on our program, we said like that. Mm-hmm. Kinasudi, because we need to pay them and the team, mm-hmm. we used to meet at the car parking mm-hmm. and give them their stipend. I think they were like two thousand more per cent. Crazy in terms of salary. Mm-hmm. Maybe our salary is about two thousand five hundred per month. Oh wow! <laughs> wow. So we'd meet on the parking, ask you, how much do we owe you? Mm-hmm. You know, give you how much do we owe you. But then we realized this wasn't going to serve. I mean, you weren't going to survive for very long. Mm-hmm. You were doing it this way. Mm-hmm. So Brent, uh, asked Brent, is it possible to look for some funding? Mm-hmm. And Brent said, you know, the guy who come to my church, mm-hmm. he seemed to know some stuff about ten years. Why don't you organize a coffee date mm. and meet with Brent? Mm. No, meet with David, his name was David, mm. and see if he can guide us on uh, funding, mm. how you go about funding. Mm. Say, sure. Organize the date. So you organize the date at Java. 
Java Adams. Mm. And I think, wow, I don't look stupid. Mm. If you want to talk about money, let me just do a basic write-up on uh, this thing we are trying to do. Mm. And uh, do a basic budget. Mm. But then, let me put the concept and the purpose on top and the budget at the bottom. Mm. So then we go to Java and uh, David, uh, Brent and I are seated. Then David walks in. He's an American Australian mm. background. Then he says, okay guys, let's cut the cheese. How much money do you want? And then he goes to the bottom of the repas and puts up the budget. And I'm going, this guy thinks I'm looking for money. That was all the idea. But him, he says, I don't know how he knew the budget was the bottom. He pulled up the budget, says, ah, how much is this in US dollars? He removes calculator and calculates and says, ah, this is how much in the US dollars. Okay, fine, I'm going to give you. I'm going, what? Says, yeah, I'm going to fund you. What? Exactly, I'm thinking, this is crazy. I mean, how does guy walk from nowhere and just says, how much money do you want? I'm going to fund you. And then he says, you know, uh, but I can tell you guys as green as grass. I generally don't work with guys like you. But for you, I'll fund you. But on one condition. You are planning to start a program in one university. I want you to scale up in all the universities in the country in three years. Ooh. And I'm telling you, no, that's not good. Says, yes, that's my only condition. He says, but money? He says, I'm going to fund you. That's all I just, did you hear me? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> now we don't we're not even registered we don't have a CBJ in place we don't have a bank account we have nothing so he tells me okay come to my office next week and send a contract so I got now, I did not know who he was did you have an instant headache <laughs> it was crazy <laughs> my head is just going you know it's dizzy did Brent know that no, he was going to find no he, Brent didn't he had no idea. He's just a guy who used to come and see him in church. So I go to David Elkin and the contract. Now, you know, the biggest amount of money I had ever seen was probably, remember I'm coming from the navigators, probably about 30k of so forth. Then I look at the contract, I look at the amount of money. The figures at the bottom. Yeah. Making your eyes dizzy. Yeah. <laughs> Do you, can you guess how much it was? No, I can't. Just guess. Any? What? I've been earning 30k, I get called you, he wanna fund you, he doesn't know you. How much would you fund again? Like that? For a program, what? I don't know, man. Just guess. One million? Yeah. Well, it was actually 53 million shillings. What? Yeah. <laughs> For one campus? For one university? Just, we, we didn't even know what we wanted to do. What? Wait, you had put a. What? <laughs> yeah. Now, we, we are not registered, we don't have a bank account. No, I'm, did you fall sick? <laughs> <laughs> you got shaking. <laughs> oh my goodness. I began shaking. <laughs> my legs were going like this. I can imagine. <laughs> <laughs> temperature, temperature. If it was COVID period, you'd be yeah, yeah, I'm <laughs> totally sick. I was thinking, this is mad. <laughs> oh my goodness. So I asked David, but how is it going to work? We don't have we don't have a team with yeah, that. So yeah. yeah. You know what David did? Mm. He flew in consultant from UK. To us structure the, the program. M &M, I never had M, &M in my whole life. Protocol <coughs> expert. I mean that first you're not a, from a pro at navigators, I'm sure you've yeah. been doing well, but from yeah. this end, yeah. you're not a programmer. No. So you've not had no programming no. background no. at all. No. So this no. is not yeah. What you are thinking about, yeah. is that what you put on the paper? I don't even think so. I mean, we're just putting paper about peer education training. That's yeah. about it. So, so your budget was not that much? No. So he scaled it up? He scaled it up. He just said, if you want to work. Now, you know, later I realized this was the head of, he was the head of uh, BFID, HIV, care treatment program in the country. 
Ah, so him, he was managing billions. That way, for him, talking about 20 billion, 20 million, 30, 100, it's like... This is not much. No, I mean, how... This is... You wouldn't justify This it. is what, 50? Yeah. This is 50K mm. USD. It's not a lot at all. He would not be able to justify to UK. Of course not. Yeah. So, but he believed in... For some reason, he just believed in us. Had you... So, just so that I understand this very yeah. well. Had you, be, between the time of meeting him at yeah. uh, the, Ajaba and yeah. you meeting him at the office, yeah. had you had an opportunity to actually sell him the vision? Yeah, we probably interrupted a bit because uh, I think by the time we were writing the contract, we must have had some targets. Some interactions, yeah. 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 But it, yeah. it, whoa, it yeah. was 50k USD. Yeah. It was money. It was just. Uh, <coughs> wow. So he, f he flows in a consultant. He for for consultants. He helps us design the program, mm -hmm. um, m and &E systems, mm -hmm. and so forth. And um, so who 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 becomes the fiscal host, the financial host? So then, of course, we have producers as a CBO. Yeah. So really, Quickly. yeah. So then we get a bank account. Mm -hmm. So so the signature is are you and yeah, me and Brent. Mm -hmm. um, now, I didn't realize CBOs are only supposed to operate within some counties or when they are allowed to operate. I think in Nairobi. Yeah, I, I think it was uh, um, Westland. Westland, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because yeah. I would imagine yes. where UON is yes. Yes. was, was, was yeah. placed at the time. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the limit of our program. operations. Yes, but then of course, that was 2003. Mm -hmm. But then we recognized that we've got to then move quickly to an NGO, mm -hmm. so which is what we did in 2004. Mm -hmm. But uh, yes, so there's all this money, you've got a bank account. So in 2003, you yeah. are programs, mm -hmm. then, so you've registered, and mm -hmm. what this consultant, um, what DFIB at the time, mm -hmm. so first he's an Australian based, he's an Australian born, but he's heading the FIB programs. Yes, I don't even know how that works because he was a trusted born. Mm -hmm. uh, he must have had some British something. Okay. But later he became the, from there he moved to be the head of Kef. David? David oh. Elkins. Oh, Elkins? Yes. Ah. Yeah, he went, he went on to head Kef. Ah. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. Yes. Very, very interesting. Yeah. Oh, so he was the first founder of. Uh, yes. Yes. Oh, that's really yeah. good. That's so, really, really yeah. good. I'm mm -hmm. thinking he must have had some American something in the passport yeah. for him to head Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. All right, and mm -hmm. and so um, this is the so what 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 how did you design that program? What was it for? Yeah. What was the this this quick yeah? So it's really an HIV prevention program mm -hmm. uh, using ABC, mm -hmm. abstinence being faithful condom. Yeah. Uh, so the program was basically an HIV prevention program. Focusing on university students mm -hmm. and, uh, and an NPC program. Okay. Mm -hmm. At, and initially you targeted which, so you have this limitation of working around Western. So you mm -hmm. initially just targeted the University of Nairobi? Well, University of Nairobi, but I know that. Okay. Uh, are you are able to. Just yes, so as mother of a bank account, I don't need to listen to. <laughs> and, and, and the yeah. program itself, mm -hmm. um, when it's APC, what. Mm -hmm. So you're still the model was mm. was to work with um, to work with and through mm. university students right. as key educators right. to reach others. Yes, because mm -hmm. the university uh, when we did the data, we recognized that uh, there was a lot of HIV infections within from within the university. Mm -hmm. And when you looked at the data, mm -hmm. uh, when first years came, mm -hmm. fifty percent were virgins. Mm -hmm. But by the time they were third years, that percentage dropped to about 80%. Uh, I mean, the ones who were sexually active were about uh, 80 or 80%. Mm -hmm. So we knew that uh, there was a lot of sexual activity happening between first year and uh, third year. Mm -hmm. So if we could uh, have an intervention that particularly focuses on first year, mm -hmm. then you increase the number of students who are virgins first mm. and tend to leave mm. or at least abstain mm. and the, the ones who are having sex mm. and this will be responsible for sex mm. and actually that's how the name I Choose Life came All because right. um, we're just sitting with a group of university students and they asked what should we call this thing mm. and um, then we talked to different people one of them was a guy called Cosmo Gatere who was working initially with 
Coke. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and that's Coke, right? What, what's that? Yeah, Coca Cola. Coca Cola, all right. Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. And then later started his own uh, company. Mm-hmm. So he was helping us to think through branding and so forth. Mm-hmm. And so, really, I choose life was born from our goal is not to preach you as a young person, mm-hmm. to preach you as a young person. Mm-hmm. We realize there was an information gap. Mm-hmm. And our role is to give you information mm. and then you make a choice. Mm. Therefore, you choose life. Mm. We are responsible for giving you all the information that you need, yeah. but you're responsible for making the decision and making the choice. Yeah. So we don't pressure you. Right. Us, we love you whether you are still up your se- 10 sexual partners or not. Mm. Our goal is not to give you a sexual partner. Mm. Once you give you information, mm. then we are cool. Mm.